Democratic Senator Mark Kelly, Republican nominee Blake Masters, and Libertarian candidate Mark Victor stepped onto the debate stage Thursday night. Faye Fredericks from our sister station in Phoenix recaps their discussion. They took gas from $2 to $6. Now they want a prize because it's back in the $5. No, when you make energy too expensive, well, everything you need to live takes energy to make or to move. You make energy expensive, you get some inflation. That was the left hook. Well, the Democrats weren't done. Then they decided to print $6 trillion. Joe Biden's policies caused this, and those are policies that Mark Kelly in Washington has supported every single time. Well, two and a half inflation. years ago, we went through something unprecedented, you know, COVID-19. Schools had to shut down, businesses shut down. Across Arizona, we have half a million small businesses. You know, sometimes the federal government has to step in to save small business. Inflation hurts the poor the worst. It's a tax on everything. Why is this happening? It's happening because of both the Republicans and the Democrats. It's their foolish economic policies. On the border battle. You know, I've spent a lot of time on our southern border, and let me just say, it's a mess. It's a chaos. It's crisis. You know, when the president decided he was going to do something dumb on this and change the rules, you know, that would create a bigger crisis, you know, I told him he was wrong. Mark Kelly said no to 18,000 more Border Patrol agents but yes to 87,000 new IRS agents. That shows you what his priorities are. We had a great immigration policy in this country in the late 1800s, early 1900s. In fact, we didn't even have a term, illegal immigration. It was just immigration. It wasn't a big deal. We welcomed immigrants to America. On election integrity, Mark Kelly challenged on the need for a national voter ID law. He mentioned voter ID. I'm okay with that. You know, these are conspiracies and lies that have no place in our democracy. But the first question on the topic going to Blake Masters. Is Joe Biden the legitimately elected president of the United States? Joe Biden's absolutely the president. I mean, my gosh, have you seen the gas prices lately? Immediately following the hour-long debate, I talked to political consultants Jason Barraza and Brian Sychik about Kelly trying to put distance between himself and President Biden, despite voting with him more than 94% of the time. Arizona supported President Biden in the last election. Arizona voted for our current president. Um, and if, as you heard tonight, Mr. Masters doesn't dispute that our legitimate president is uh, President Joe Biden. I don't think that Kelly needs to run away from him. Both men agree there was more pressure on Masters. Kelly is leading in the polls and has considerably more money to spend on advertising. The race has certainly tightened up recently, uh, but the fact is we're at the phase in the race where I think Blake has to pull voters. He doesn't have to just win a plurality or majority of undecided voters. He has to pull voters off of Mark Kelly. I think he started to do that tonight. He had a very good night. Next month, we'll find out if Arizona voters agree. Faye Fredericks, ABC 15, Arizona.